Welcome to Irender. In this video, we're gonna make a render test on the Irender server with 4X RTX 3090. We use 3DS Max software and Redshift Renderer. Irender provides Redshift floating licenses directly on the server, so we're gonna use Redshift through the Irender license management app. To start with, log into our Irender account. Navigate to GPU Hub and create a new image with 4X RTX 3090. Boot it right away. Five minutes after, the server is ready to be used. Download the .rdp file. Enter credentials to connect to the remote server. Now, we need to install 3ds Max first. Then move your project file to desktop to prepare for rendering. Next, we're gonna set up the Redshift render engine. Go to X Drive, select the Redshift folder. Copy the latest version of Redshift to desktop and run it. The next step is to set up the Irender License Management app. Similarly, copy its installer to desktop and run it. Subsequently, sign into the app with the Irender credentials to enable the Redshift license. Remember that only Prime customers are entitled to sign into this app. We've already set up 3DS Max software and Redshift render. Now, open the 3DS Max project. Do some render setup with Redshift render. In case you see we go too fast, you can pause it to follow each setup. First, test renders with IPR, Interactive Photorealistic Rendering. And meanwhile, we check the graphics card performance in Task Manager. Check all four graphics cards running. Here's the test frame. We then do settings with the output size. Quick render. The render time is 9.66 seconds. However, we still see the noise. We need to then was. Under the Denoise, we select engine with optics and none, see the difference. Obviously, optics is better. So we set up engine with optics and re-render the frame.
The final render time is 11.61 seconds. Save the output file at desktop. We check the rendered file again before moving it to the Z drive. Z drive and GPU hub sync app are synced, so we'll get the render result by downloading it from GPU hub sync to our PC. Finally, disconnect the iRender license management app and shut down the remote server. To sum up, we guided you to render on the powerful 4X RTX 3090 server with 3DS Max and Redshift. 11.61 seconds is the final render time. Let the iRender servers render your project in seconds. Happy rendering.